Next, uh, Lagrange equation problems. We will solve two types of problems here. One is by method of grouping and other one is by uh, method of Lagrange multipliers. And uh, we can use both in one problem also. Okay. So, the first problem is solve px plus qy equal to 3z. Okay. Then, solution given given equation is px plus qy equal to 3z and which is of the form pp plus qq is equal to r okay and what is p here p capital p is x and capital q is y and capital r is 3z now the first step is if you get a uh, PDE in the Lagrange's form. First step is we will write the subsidiary equation. What is subsidiary equation? dx by p equal to dy by q equal to dz by r. And that is dx by what is p x dy by what is q uh, y and dz by r is 3z. Now here here look at here in these two terms in these two terms z is missing z is absent so these terms in these two equations z is absent so we can take uh, by we can use grouping so what we take dx by x equal to dy by now dx by x uh, dx dx by x is equal to dy by y now if you cross multiply what you will get uh, no no so this is actually dx by x dy by y and we know that 1 by x integral of 1 by x is log x and integral of 1 by y dy equal to log y so now we can integrate here. Now integrating we get log x is equal to log y plus log c1. Why we take log c1? So for simple calculation, the constant we take as log c1. Now log x minus log y equal to log c1. Then if you take, uh, then what you will get? <coughs> you will get a uh, log x minus this implies log x minus log y is log x by y is equal to log c1 then x by if you take exponential on both sides you will get x by y equal to c1 so that is u equal to c1 form now so we get a solution for u u now now if you take okay, if you take uh, this first equation and third in first and third first and third there is y is absent so we can use method of grouping so in first and third y is absent so we will use method of grouping. So here y is absent. So dx by d, dx by dx is equal to dz by d3z. And integrating we get log x is equal to 1 by 3 log z plus log c2. Log x minus 1 by 3 log z is equal to log c2 and 3 log x minus log z is equal to 3 log c2 and i am taking 3 log c2 is equal to log c log c therefore therefore 3 you will get 3 log x minus log z equal to log c and this is log x cube minus log z is equal to log c. And which implies log 
x cube divided by z equal to log c which implies x cube by z equal to c so this is v actually therefore we will get this is we will get v equal to x cube by z therefore the solution is y x by y and this is u and this is v okay next problem we will use a method of a group a multiplier method okay so here why we will use we cannot use uh, lagrange gr grouping method because here there is z and y here x and z here y and x so we doesn't get any any two terms um, no two terms as uh, as variable absent so uh, variable is not absent so we cannot use method of grouping here so the first step is we will write it in the form of uh, Lagrange equation mz minus nyp plus nx minus lz cube is equal to ly minus mx. Here the subsidiary equations are dx by mz minus ny dy by nx minus lz dz by ly minus mx. Now P equal to mz ny, q equal to nx lz, r equal to ly mx. Now we can use uh, Lagrange multiplier method. So if I take l equal to x, m equal to y, and n equal to z, then we get a new fraction. We know that uh, lx l dx sorry l p plus n q plus sorry uh, sorry l dx plus m d y plus n d z divided by l p plus m q plus n n r this is the new fraction we get new fraction here now, 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 what will happen here in mx into mz minus ny, uh, ynx minus lz, z into ly minus mx. So I think uh, this is T. So this term is zero because if you take x m z minus if you multiply x and y plus n x plus plus n plus n uh, plus nxy minus lzy plus zly minus mzx so xmz is here mzx is here this this cancel minus x and y and minus n x y plus n x y this this cancel so you will get is equal to zero then we will get a differential equation x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to zero if you integrating this integral x dx is x square by and y dx is y square by 2, z dx is z square by 2 is equal to c by c1 by 2. So this is the uh, one solution that is u. Okay. Now again, again we, we need two solutions, simultaneous solution. 
So for a k, we will use uh, Lagrange multipliers. We use e to take l equal to l, m equal to m, and m l m n are the multipliers. Then each fraction is l dx plus m dy plus n dz l into m mz minus n y m into n x minus l z n into l y minus m x. Now this terms becomes uh, this becomes l into m z minus l into n y plus m n x this m n x minus m l z plus n l y minus n m x so this this cancel these two get cancelled and all get cancelled and is equal to zero so we get an equation l dx plus m dy plus n dz is equal to zero now integrating we have l m n r constant l dx plus m dy plus n dz is equal to zero now integrating integral l L dx is x plus Lx plus m dy is my plus nz is equal to some constant c2. Thus, the required solution is phi of x square by x square plus y square plus z square and Lx plus my plus nz is equal to zero either you can write in this way or you can write you can write in this fashion that is u equal to that is u equal to by your